Hello everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. Welcome everyone. And today we are going to start the new Tableau Desktop Specialist Preparation Series. And what's the agenda for today? So you know that the topics have been added, the format has been changed. So we will uh, keep in mind about the new topics, the new format, the approach, the quiz, the multiple choice questions. So this is based on the new Tableau Desktop specialist preparation program okay what's the agenda for today so today we are going to learn about creating live connection and extract creating a live connection to a data source explain the differences between using live connection versus extract create an extract and maybe we'll divide this into two parts in the other part we'll have save metadata properties in a dot tds file create a data source that uses multiple connections and quiz fair enough so who am i So these are again the topics that we are going to discuss today and what's the story, right? Let us start with the story that why even we need extract or live type of connections over there. So let's get started. What's the story? So as usual, Lakshman. Now he has been given a task to decide the data source type for a new company called Cricket Score, right? A website dealing with the sport cricket information can vary from the live commentary from live commentary to players profile etc he needs to group the reports on the basis of live extract connection right so he, he has a, a role over there as a success solution architect and he has to take decision that he he has he has two types of report one is like live commentary and the other one would be like uh, top five players top and players and all so he has to decide so he has to decide on what basis like for that he needs to know about the extract so let's get started with the extract and live connection. So what is an extract? Now extract is in a snapshot of data. It can be a .tde or .hyperfile on the basis of your version. Anything like before 10.5 will still have .tde file. And it is created from a static source of data. For example, I don't want to go with the live connection for, for example, there is an Oracle database. So this is a sort of extract. You're extracting from the live uh, data source and Tableau sub and you would like to refresh that as well, right? So Tableau server can be configured to, re to be refreshed from underlying data according to a schedule. So we have to decide whether it is a weekly report, daily report or a monthly report. According to that, we'll set the schedule. That's with the extract. Now with live connection, this is a direct connection to underlying data, you know, providing real time or near real time data, right? So there is no question of scheduling over there. It's a real time data. And Tableau makes queries directly against the database or other source and returns the results of the query for use in a workbook. So if we go back to the story, right? So we have got half of the answer, right? For a live commentary, like crickscore.com, or if you are interested more into football, maybe say footballscore.com. So when you talk about the live commentary, when a person who for the present moment, he is not in front of the television screen. So he would like to have live score. So there is no question. So at that point of time, you, you don't have to spend much of the time to decide whether it will be a live or extra. It will be a live connection, right? Means, so when it's critical to have live reporting, you will go with the live type of connection. No question about that. But yes, in order to make it more efficient, you need to ensure that your end data source is in good shape. It is tuned properly because now when you are live, you are not going to take advantage of the properties provided by extract. That means extract is inheriting a few of the properties which are awesome. And now what are those properties, right? In order to understand that, let us see some of the basic properties of extract, why it is so, so, so useful, useful to have. Unlike traditional databases, extract are columnar, column type database, not like relational database, which are row type. For example, in this case, if you are querying order ID and ship date, anything with respect to relational database, this one, it will go like this will scan each and every row over there in that process it will also pass through the 
values which you are not concerned about you are only concerned about order id and ship mode wherein column scanning you are just scanning that those very particular columns over there so that will really help you to save time not only that extract our architecture of the architecture awareness of uh, ext makes it using ram and hard disk to the best of use so that's an another very very big advantage it will automatically make the optimum use of ram and hard disk the other point that you would notice that this creates several files for each column that for this column you have one file for this column you have one file so if you would have heard already that one of the best practices with extract is to hide the columns unused columns right so if you are not using the columns hide those so you know why it is, where from where it is coming right so that way you are reducing the size of the extract and that will increase the efficiency in terms of the refresh overall time not only the, this you can make use of extract filters you can further optimize it how we'll see a demo so these are the different options but it makes sense to see this with the hands on example so from the clean slate let us try to connect to our data source first so let me connect to sample super store fair enough now once i drag orders over there you can see on the right hand side two options over there this is the way you can set whether you want to go with extract or live so by default it takes live and please focus over here right focus over here there the icon over there and once you change that to extract you can see the change in the icon over there and it will ask you to save that extract as well so i'll save it so this is the way you create an extract you save it and after that now you can see right this shows like two cylinders over there and it depicts like if you see the arrow it is showing that i am trying to extract from a live data source to an extract which is a local copy over here now i go back to the data source this is the way i create an extract and after that how to optimize it further i go to edit suppose you belong to a particular region say central so i am not interested to see the records for east south or west so i'll make it central so that if you have the nightly schedule it will just pull the records from the central so you don't need to have extra records over there that's an advantage you can also aggregate data for visible dimension for example if you are interested to analyze at year level only so it will aggregate or roll up at that very particular live right that that want let us see the demo first so i'll just pull the order date i should have profit and maybe in the form of a segment this is the level of detail that we are using over there so now you can see i set the aggregate at year level so if i just go to quarter it is it is not going to change right it is not going to change this will remain same so the advantage is it's already aggregated pre aggregated so at sheet level you are not recalculating it that will also help you to improve your performance okay now if i go back to data source again and again if i say add it what all different features like all rows uh you if you want incremental refresh right do you have any field over there that will help you to get the incremental data that means let me show you with an example so suppose yesterday if you see it it went up to 9990 which is row id and next day it started from 9991 9992 and this is the next day insertion you know or insertion of for data rows over there so i if i have something like this you know if a column like this that would help me to identify the incremental records over there so i'll set that as column over there that will help me not to extract the data fully that mean next day it will just add these these four rows instead of again extracting from row 1 to 1625 so it will just add the incremental record records over there so that is helpful as well because this will reduce the time that you take to refresh the extract over there now these are also these options are also very handy where you can have top you know top by rows means you are at 
development you know you're trying to develop so why to go with the thousands or millions of rows over there just to top 100 rows or the sample you can also use the percent that means 10 percent of the overall number of rows that you have at your database and this is what i was talking about hide all unused fields so this is also a good practice to have and if i say okay you can see you, i have the fields which are there at my visualization right? year order date profit and segment so you have hidden the extra fields over there which can come back with the show hidden fields that said now coming back to the slide now we know the advantages that we have and now we can answer the questions for lakshman the story takeaways like lakshman has decided to give live connection for the live commentary of course users are not interested to watch live commentary later although lakshman will surely implement for other reports like top and in the cricket history where live data field is not important as he has planned to take advantage of extract optimization he is also planning to have incremental refresh wherever applicable which should reduce the extract refresh time as well so i hope this was use useful and we will cover the second part metadata and multiple connections in the second part of the same video so let us meet over there till then keep on dancing with data